Well, it's packed tonight. I'm looking at our camera system, and the dining room is full, and I'm beat. Are you beat? You worked your butt off. Always. Ma, are you beat? Yes, I beat. Chris, do you have but an extra one? But the beat goes on, you know, like what? that. What? You have an extra one, or you want to use this? No, no, I wanted to give it to you. Okay. Yeah, it was it was charged. And the beat goes on. Want to say hi, Maureen? And the beat goes so, on. So, guys, Mike. Yeah. Say hello. What? Mike is busy. Who's that? I'm on live. Why are you doing live now? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, turn around. Hold Let on. the world see your cute face. What's up, everybody? How many people on right now? Not too shabby. Mike's yeah. wearing his horn. Yeah. The we got the protection from this evil governor. <laughs> Malokio, governor, Malokio. <laughs> hey, and by the way, Governor Wolf, I now believe, and I, I made this video on my Goomba's Facebook, you're a racist. You don't like the Italians. Or the Greeks. You don't like the Greeks. You only targeted three businesses, four total locations. Who would that be? The Greek owners from Greece, the Saccarellos, that would be uh, the, both round-the-clock diner uh, locations. Then you came after us Guineas, right? <laughs> Here in uh, Taste of Sicily, my mom, she's an, an immigrant from uh, Sicily, and then Faye's Kitchen. What is she? You, hit, I don't know. I got to find out. Oh. You hit us harder than all the other hundreds of businesses that were doing the same damn thing yeah. that we were doing, but now the truth is out. You're racist. You don't like the immigrants, you prick. <laughs> wow. Well, you asked for it. And that's what I get when I put Mike on a live. I look beat. Don't so, I, wrong. so anyway, guys, uh, man, we're, we're still slammed. But uh, uh, all right, we're chilling out a little bit. And uh, oh, you, you don't want to get off? Maybe you're done? I don't mind. Okay. Well, come, you want to come here, babe? All right, let me put my mom on. No. Say, hi. Say hi. How are you? I'm not wearing my horn. You know why? Because I have that automatic, if anybody wishes anyone bad, goes right back to them. It's like backlash. So. Okay, so anyway, guys, um, yeah. it's packed, absolutely packed tonight. Um, constant, a constant flow, people. We are blessed, but man, we are also very beat. We are working Hold very, on. very hard. Let me say something else. Oh, Lord. And just because, uh, Woofy, you marched with the uh, the Black Lives Matter people, that was a scam. You're a racist. Nice try, nice cover-up. I don't think so. Yeah, so what Mike is trying to say, too, is um, my lawyer does have proof that uh, Taste of Sicily was targeted, so was Round the Clock, so was Face Kitchen. Now, we got hit harder than any other business for whatever reason. We're not sure why yet, but uh, my lawyer did say he has proof that, I didn't tell you this, Ma, hundreds of other businesses operated at normal capacity. No one got a fine. Yeah, it was just us. Why? I don't know. Yeah, I feel special. <laughs> hey, Chris. Because he doesn't like the little Sicilian families. You know, maybe my skin is a little too dark. I don't know. But you know what? That's his problem. It ain't my problem. I'm kind of disappointed about something. What's that? Why didn't we get a placard? <laughs> we didn't it. get a placard. And she didn't get, her name wasn't in the lawsuit. So Levine is not suing me. And um, uh, the Department of Ag hasn't been here. I was kind of hoping I could see him walk up the ramp so we could laugh at him watching him leave. But they never came back. It's kind of like they kind of... Know that yeah, we no, know we something know about them. I had to tell John, keep your cool when they come because um, John's very protective. And so I said, uh, you know, you let them kind of come in, do their thing. And um, it's kind of fun, though, to mess with them when they do come in, I will say. It's kind of fun knowing they have no power and everything that they represent is a lie and that yeah. we're exposing them. Yeah, and I guess they won't come in either because they know, like, oh, my God, you know, we, why, we can't walk in that business. They just, you know, beat us in court. So... So we have a lot of credibility and it's pretty awesome, but you know, it's always a good position to be, um, you know, uh, standing uh, righteously and, 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 and with justice. So anyway though, guys, man,
Pennsylvania. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The, our business is booming. I mean, like I said before, we've been in the restaurant business for, oh my God, how long, Ma? 45 years? 50 years. 50 years. And we, 50. we've we never had numbers like this. It, it's just, it's, uh, it's crazy, but... I'm so proud of this state. Thank you to every one of you, whether you watch, whether you pray, whether you come in, whether you send messages that are um, filled with prayers and encouragement. Um, I need this right here. This I family here. would have right. never survived or kept the doors on, open uh, without the support of people from Pennsylvania. We had someone the other day from There's Missouri. No someone fridge. today was from um, South Carolina. And then we get New York, New Jersey. And it's just, you know, um, the UK has reached out. Norway. I mean, it, the list. Hawaii. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. The support has been beautiful. And, um, and I can't thank you guys enough. I know a lot of you can't get here because you live far away. And that's okay. Um, you know, to me, support is, is much more than just um, coming in and spending money. It's, it's the encouragement through the messages. And, you know, you guys have seen many facets of me. You know, I've been on camera crying after fines and frustration after the Department of Ag had visited. And, you know, you've seen me happy, you've seen me sad. And um, so you guys have gotten to know me. I've gotten to know some of you. Um, and it has been an amazing ride. So guys, I'm encouraging you, if you didn't open, open up, open up, open up. It's so worth it, so worth it. And um, I promise you, you will have the support of the people of Pennsylvania and many other states. So, I mean, let me just grab my guest book. Let me show you what the dining room looks like. It's, it's, it's busy tonight. Let me get the guest book out. Yeah, it's, hold on one second. Where's the guest book at? Okay, so, all right, all right. I don't want to put anybody on camera because I don't have permission, so that was a quick glimpse. But, you know, let me just tell you guys, and then I'll get off here. Let me just tell you where people are visiting from. We got Florida, Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, Missouri, Harrisburg. I mean, this list is mammoth. It is mammoth. Um... Elizabethtown, Pine Grove, Frackville, Cleona, Chalfon, Emmaus, Drums, Wrightsville, New Cumberland, Mannheim, Hazelton, Sealands Grove, Allentown, Whitehall, Catasauqua, Mount Wolf. What is that funny? Mount Wolf. That's where that jerk of a governor lives. Uh, I think I said Sealands Grove already. Um, I thought this should say Robizonia, but it says Orbizonia. Three Springs, PA. Um, and then, you know, some people write like, Go Trump, whatever, and this and that. And uh, let me see here. This is just a bunch of thank you. Our new Italian place, amazing meals. Uh, thank you, <laughs> sauce fella. Thank you for everything. Green light every day. Here we have Lancaster, um, Bloomsburg, Jonestown, Myerstown, Wellsboro, Limerick. Uh, is it Wicon? Is it Wiccan Seek? Oh, wow. I can't even say that one. Wow. Wiccanisco? Sorry, guys. Can't read that. Westchester, Fulton County, Chambersburg, Lingolstown, um, Chow, is it Chalfont? Coatesville, Jersey Shore, Glensville, Glenside, Pittsburgh, another Pittsburgh, Mechanicsburg. I already said that one. Philadelphia, Hershey, Bethlehem, Wingap, Northampton, Honeybrook, New Providence, PA, Lancaster, Tamaqua, Ephrata, Hanover, Lidditz, Denver. I can't read that one. Tower City. Jeez, what's up, baby? No, I just wanted to say um, I appreciate everybody more than words can say that support my wife because, uh, you know, you got a lot of Facebook trolls and a lot of just hateful people in the world to try to tear her down and she um she truly loves everybody that and she's genuinely trying to help everybody so she couldn't be where she's at today if it wasn't for everybody that's standing behind her and supporting her so i can't say thanks thanks enough for that you guys are amazing and she truly genuinely loves and respects everybody on her you know that's her followers and everybody that's behind her so i appreciate it and uh god bless thank, thank you. you it's the truth thank you
And I got married through this to an amazing uh, godly man. So, but anyway, guys, this book goes on and on. And, and um, so now, you know, like, you know, man, the support is just pouring out from all over the place. It's unbelievable. It's overwhelming. It's, it is truly overwhelming. I wish I could do something huge for, you know, every, every person that's ever supported us, but it's just, um, it's been amazing. It's, it's been an amazing ride. So we'll see what happens uh, January 4th. Uh, everything's supposed to open up. I hear the governor's locking it down until the spring. Um, you know, you, you know, you, you're, you're led to believe one thing. He is trying to kill the small business and, and, uh, and that's it. So anyway, all right, guys, have an amazing night. I am beat. Um, by the way, remember no reservations unless you made it before the lockdown. And, um, whoo, it is busy. Let me have, let me have, um, here, let me, hold on, hold, hold on one second. Hurry up, I gotta go. Oh, you're a pain in the neck. All right, all right, go ahead. Okay, listen, my Goombas, here's another thing. Please, please, please go to my official Goomba Sauce Facebook page. There, I have a post in words, and I also did a video on how I arrived to my conclusion, okay? I'm not joking when I say this that this governor is a racist. I tell you in logic, why? I didn't just dream this up. As a matter of fact, I would never use this in a way that, oh yeah, now nah, he's using racism. Listen, the governor specifically targeted both round the clock diners, okay? They're from Greece, okay? And my mom, Tasa Sicily, okay? Uh, you know, uh, from Sicily, that's where she was born to sing. This guy don't like Italians. He don't like Greeks. Face Kitchen, I gotta find out who's the owner. But the bottom line is, is those three businesses, but four locations total, were specifically targeted, unlike any other business in the state of Pennsylvania. And there were hundreds of businesses doing the same thing that we were doing, opened up to 100% capacity. That information came from our attorney. That's right, from our attorney. So this is not any BS, this guy's a racist. He don't like the day goes the guineas and the grease balls from Greece. <laughs> That's just the way it Do is. Do you have any update from our attorney for everybody? Any update? He said just open up to 100%. We'll take whoever to court. Uh, Levine and uh, Wolf do not have a leg to stand on. Mm. They're reaching as hard as they can. They're very frustrated because within the confines of the law, they can't touch any business, okay? And um, uh, they're, they're just using the basic fear tactics and, and manipulation. Why? Because most of your, a lot of your average everyday American bus business owners don't know their constitutional rights. Yes. It's no different yeah. than, than a, a, a say a Christian going to fellowship and listening to the preacher without knowing the Bible. Mm. If you take that approach, if that's your right. faith, right. it's the same thing. Right. If I'm the preacher and I'm telling you whatever I want, but you're not reading your Bible, then I can say whatever that's I so want true. whenever I wake up and manipulate the people. That's so true. So if you want to be free, you gotta know your rights. That's so true. That's it. So true. This guy's racist. He don't like Guineas, Italians, and people from Greece. Yeah, and you know, um, if you are if, if you are serving the public, you're not supposed to be racist. And you know, I, what I see, um, what I see more than anything is the reason that people are not standing up is, you know, because you you don't know your rights. You don't know your rights as an American. Read the Constitution, everybody. Um, you know, not knowing what your rights are as an American will make you lose at this point in time. Uh, it'll make you lose everything, your business, everything. Um, you can't pay your bills because this governor makes you think you have to close. You don't have to close. Need I say more? I'm open. I'm not in jail. Department of Ag never gave me my freaking placard. If anybody is new to the placard that um, Wolf's new reach is, uh, or power grab is, you know, he has the Department of Ag out there and they're handing out these signs and they put them on your door. They say, you need to close right now. You absolutely don't. So I'm going to do something for you guys. What I'm hoping to do is I want a placard and I'm going to have um, a special live and I'm going to burn it. So I'm waiting. 
I just have to ask my lawyer about that. He's probably going to tell me to save a copy. But that's what we're going to do together, Pennsylvania, if I get it. And I hope I do get it. Uh, because every time they come at me, it's just more publicity for this family, for this business. We're looking at franchising and a million other things. So Wolf has made this family local celebrities just from going to work. It is unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I told him about the placard. I want to burn it if we get it. I'm going to burn it, Mike. Listen, this governor's a prick. <laughs> and that's the way it is. And we don't got to listen to his BS. What really pisses me off is there ain't no joke about it. You listen to these soldiers like Doug Mastriano, Frank Ryan, and people that were over in another freaking country fighting against this very BS mm. that this racist governor, okay, is trying to do. And you notice it's only about five or six governors. This yeah. is not happening all over the country. Right. You know, in case anybody doesn't know it, they forgot. This ain't happening down in Florida. This is not happening in, you know, most states, right? Except for five or six states, right? Okay? Florida's wide open. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I get so pissed off about it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, man, we've been in this battle for a long time. It's been, uh, we opened May 20th, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Woo! We've been in this battle for seven months. Seven months, and man, oh man, a lot has happened in seven months. What the devil meant for bad, God uses for good. Yeah, tell him that. That's a good scripture. But what the devil meant for bad, God uses for good for those that love him. Amen. So true. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, wow. I'm going to end with that. What more can I say? All right, guys. Have an amazing day. Open your business. Stay open, and... um. I promise you the support is overwhelming. Overwhelming. I mean, this book is packed with supporters. It, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, guys. I love you all. I'm beat. I got like an hour and a half left. I can't wait to get the heck home. I'm so tired. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Business is booming. Um, and uh, history is being made. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. Reach out to our team, Eat, if you have any questions about opening your business. Um, you know, uh, we uh, have uh, actually Matt is the one who answers all the questions um, when people inbox the EAT team. Um, he does a, a thorough job, a great job. And um, him and his wife, Jen, are amazing people um, who we've grown to love. And so uh, reach out to them. Reach out to, you know, our team. Let us know if we can do anything for you guys. Not sure about meetings, what's happening there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... We're going to get a bunch of shirts next week. Oh, yeah. And everyone who ordered a shirt, the shirts are coming in. If you want a shirt, order it now. If you already ordered it, please don't inbox me again because I already have your order. I have a, a, mass, a mass, um, massive amount of shirts going out. It, it's... What? You said you're going to get back to everybody, but it's taking... Yes, yes. So I'm thinking uh, they'll be in. I'm hoping... Uh, a week from Monday. We'll see how it goes. So anyway. All right, guys. Love you all. Have an amazing day, guys. Stay open and stay strong.